today's video we're talking about the best metal albums of December week number one. It's the end of the year. There's not a lot of uh, big name uh, bands putting out stuff. So I chose a lot of uh, more underground bands, bands I've never heard of. I just decided to like see what came out, listen to a bunch of albums, and I heard a lot of stuff that I liked. So this is going to be a lot of like um, a lot of underground and a lot of unsigned independent bands. Um, as always, I divide the video into chapters, so feel free to jump ahead to the band you want to hear about. With that being said, let me get to the first uh, band and album. So the band is Dystopia AD. They're from the U.S., uh, from Jersey City, New Jersey. A fairly new band. Uh, they've been active since 2017. Their label is Melodic Death Metal. I'm going from the uh, Metallum uh, website. But I, I kind of think they're a little different. So they have uh, two albums out. This album is called The Doomsday Psalm. It's uh, their second full length. And for me, it was different. Like, you know, they label it as, you know, they have to label something. But they say melodic death metal. But I feel it's just like a mixture of different styles of extreme music. Uh, so as far as vocals are concerned, you got two different styles. The harsh death metal vocals and those... I guess I'll call them those like higher pitched goblin vocals. I want to call them that. The sound is just big and massive. There are symphonic elements. You got some heavy thrash metal style guitar riffs at times. You got some melodic parts and different changes throughout the song. So I chose uh, two songs. First one, Terminal uh, Lucidity. This one has a slow doom metal style with drumming and guitars and heavier death and black metal vocals. Pacing is fairly slow. The vocals uh, change often. The sound is very big and symphonic. And between all this, you, they add in like guitar fills. But the overall sound is very dark and evil. You get some shredding guitar solos, a quiet interlude, atmospheric background with a slower solo. Then they change the guitar melody. So these songs, they change it up a lot. And that's what's good in music. The next song I chose was called uh, As Skies Collapse. Now this one, the intro has this, like, that, like, long, slow intro, the acoustic guitar strumming, melodic lead melodies, uh, it reminded me of Iron Maiden, you know, like, modern Iron Maiden, you know, they have, like, those long intros, but then it just gets really heavy through these staccato riffs, they have some symphonic elements, then they mix very heavy parts with the cleaner atmospheric ones, and some melodic parts, they mix it up a lot, that's basically what I'm trying to say. And then they kind of like do some like folky stuff with flutes and acoustic guitars in the middle. So I like the variety of this album. So I'm giving this one an 8.5 out of 10. Next is the band is called uh, Ancient Mastery. And the band from uh, Austria, Vienna. The, and uh, they have a new band. They've been active since like 2020. Their label is Epic Black Metal. And that really, I don't really know what that is because I've never heard that. Uh, expression. The name before. of the album is Chapter 2 The Resistance, which is obviously the follow up to Chapter 1 Across the Mountains of the Drama Skull or something like that. I've never heard this band. I've never listened to Chapter 1 yet, and I need to listen to it because I like this band a lot. I like this album. So basically, it's labeled as Epic Black Metal. I've, you know, I've never heard of what Epic Black Metal is, but there's a lot going on. You got horns, uh, melodic leads, pounding drums. Uh, the vocals resemble black metal, but I think the rest of the instrumentation a lot like epic power metal. They do some black metal like that riffing as well, the guitar sound. Then they play guitars in a way, make it sound like horns. There's the percussion, the drums. They kind of like use bells at points. And again, this is all like fantasy-oriented lyrics, and I think it's all like a whole concept. I didn't really delve into the story. So the first song I chose, uh, To the Riverbank, kind of starts like a folk song with acoustic guitar, has a woman singing, and it's kind of like just relaxing folk music. Then it just gets heavy after a minute and a half, and then they go into some epic power metal style guitar riffs, the rapid-fire drumming. The guitar sound is distorted. Then you got like the male vocals with like the black metal style. Then the song goes back to that like folky uh, style with the female vocals. Then they incorporate a darker tone. And then like the bringing these evil black sounding black metal uh, vocals. 
and then more like black metal stuff and tremolo picking and all that. So then the next song I chose was called The Uprising, and I like this one because it has like a symphonic metal feel. So they mix it up with some very fast drumming, some black metal vocals, then some light keyboards with traditional metal guitars. They mix it with uh, classical folk music. There's a lot going on here. Just, there's a guitar riff again. Reminded me of like Iron Maiden's The Trooper. And then I have like a quiet, like a movie score kind of sounding section. So another band, another album where it's just like very like big and dense and theatrical. And that's what I liked about it. I'm also giving this uh, one an 8.5 out of 10. The next band is called Harad. It's H-R-A-D. They're from France. And uh, I don't really have much info on them because they're really unsigned and independent. I guess they're a kind of a fairly new band. And the genre is uh, atmospheric black metal and dungeon synth. So I'll be talking about that in a second. They have two albums. Actually, they have an EP called Tales from the Analog Past. And this album is called The Forgotten Legacy. So it's basically six songs, 52 minutes, you know, long songs. And this band caught my attention because I saw it listed as like black metal and dungeon synth. So I've never listened to dungeon synth and I was like curious. I mean, I want to see what it's all about. And that's pretty cool. You got lots of sound effects. They create atmospheres. They have soft melodies. They use these bells again. Lots of like different sound effects. Then it kind of sounds like a movie soundtrack. They have like wind blowing and water flowing and someone playing a wind instrument. I mean, that's kind of like how the album starts. You know, once we get into the songs, it kind of like gets a little heavier and stuff. But my favorite songs are tracks four and five, Blood Omen and Legacy. So first song, uh, Blood Omen. The thing that caught my attention is the synths. So I guess it's the dungeon synths. And, but they couple it with string instruments, kind of sounds something from like an East Asian country. But... It's not all folky stuff, you know, at this point, you know, the sound kind of gets heavy at one point. You got the heavy black metal vocals, distorted guitars. At the same time, these like folky string instruments can be heard. Then they do some like black metal tremolo picking on like the high end of the guitar neck. The song moves at a decent pace. It's not super fast. The music is just very dense. There are parts of the song, they just do these like fanfare type of sounds. And then they add in like some soft spoken vocals. So another one, a lot going on. And song number two is called War. Another song, it incorporates that dungeon synth. It has like a, a slow, soft intro with the acoustic guitars. Sounds of a young woman speaking. Come back by some operatic choir singing and orchestration. The tone is big. It's massive. It's epic. Then it kind of like evokes the feeling of like going to battle that's like the tone first part of the song is more atmospheric then it goes just full black metal with the blast beats and the dark and evil vocals they still maintain like softer tones in the background so you know the music is just very dense here the song kind of returns to a more like a mystical sounding section but more of those like dark black metal vocals so at this point in the song they're like layering the heavy vocals and the choir vocals on the bottom and it just all sounds really good. Lots of melodically clean guitars. And my final score, 8 out of 10. One more band. The band is called uh, Bifrost. They're from Spain. They've uh, been active since like the year 2000, but they have two albums. The first one came out in 2011 called Freedom, and this album is called Hair Den. They're an unsigned independent. They play traditional heavy metal. So it's good. You know, you get fast-paced metal riffs, you know, this, it sounds like right out of the 80s. This is kind of like a progressive element here as well. They kind of play with time signatures in some of the songs. Just the vocals are powerful and melodic. Just what you expect from heavy metal. And you got lots of lead guitar solos. Just lots of energy. So I chose two songs. First song, Corruption We Pay. Um, this one has some like atmospheric clean guitars and some heavier guitars. And they have some keyboards in the background, and they change the tempos a lot. So I like this one. It's a little darker. It doesn't move too fast. It's just a really good song. The second song is A River Between Us. And I chose this one because it's just very different. Like, mixing, like, jazz and soul with, like, hard rock and metal. The vocal style is kind of like the blues. They have female backing singer. The guitar riff is just 
very memorable. It's a stick in your head kind of guitar riff. This kind of reminds me of like maybe like Living Color or Faith No More. It has like a 90s kind of sound, but like a blues soul mixed with like hard rock, as I was saying. The song has lots of melody, but they play it in a, in a traditional metal style. They do these cool like galloping guitar riffs, melodic leads. And yeah, at one point they actually kind of like do some like really heavy stuff, like almost like the blast beats, but they mix a lot of heavy and light. So this one's a good album. My score is going to be 7.5 out of 10. So that is all. Like I said, it's, it's in December, so I will be continuing this series uh, throughout the month. I'll probably be focusing on more like independent, unsigned, um, just underground stuff. So anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.